Time now for the evening rush. Bernalillo County Commissioner is deciding to table a proposed sick leave ordinance this evening. This comes after a lot of public comment and a vote to change the term sick leave to paid time off. The sick leave ordinance requires one hour of earned sick time for every 30 hours worked. Employees wouldn't be able to use more than 56 hours in a year. Today, some say the extra expense would significantly hurt their businesses. The weather headlines for Wednesday across the area. Storms will increase to the east and then some spot dry storms will be possible here in the metro area with more moisture starting to slide into the state as we head toward the weekend. The co-workers of an Albuquerque social worker killed in a double murder say she always found the good in people and would do the same in this case. She could deal with folks who were charged with and regularly found guilty of the most horrible things. And she was just special at being able to say, um, you're not the sum of your worst day. Laura Hanish worked with the Public Defender's Office. Police say Jesus Cartagena admitted to killing Laura and her daughter Shanta at their home near Cole and Washington after Shanta broke up with him. Albuquerque's police union is calling for the resignation of a member of the police oversight board, member Chelsea Vandeventer. In a letter to the city council, the police union included some of her social media tweets, like one in which she jokingly calls for the death penalty for former state rep Monica Youngblood for driving drunk. APD says progress being made despite being ranked number one for auto theft for a third year in a row. It, in, in its annual report, the National Insurance Crime Bureau says there were more than 7,000 thefts last year. That's about 2,700 fewer thefts than the year before. Officials credit an auto theft prevention authority and the deployment of bait cars. If you get a ticket in Rio Rancho, it will cost you less than it used to. Earlier this year, city councilors approved speeding fines going down. 10 to $25, depending on how far over a driver is going. Councilor Bob Tyler says it's to make Rio Rancho's rates more consistent with the rest of the state. A New Mexico mother is behind bars accused of disturbing allegations. According to sheriff's detectives, the children of Martha Crouch and her husband Timothy reportedly were kept out of school and physically abused. One daughter says her mother kept her on a chain for three years to make her lose weight. That is video from Ethan O'Connor's dash cam. The Taylor Ranch man says someone shot out his car windows with a BB gun. He says neighbors reported the same thing that very night. The New Mexico Department of Health is confirming a woman has died of hantavirus. The state has completed an environmental investigation at the 42-year-old McKinley County woman's home to reduce the risk to others. The virus is transmitted through the urine and droppings of infected rodents. Firefighters are still working to get the Pine Lodge fire under control this evening. That fire now 5% contained. It has burned more than 9,000 acres. Fire officials say cooler temperatures and higher humidities are helping. A vehicle and three cabins have burned. At last check, a handful of other cabins are threatened. The cause is under investigation. A group building a privately funded border wall is holding a fundraiser in New Mexico to keep building. That fundraiser ends tomorrow. The first barrier in Sunland Park was funded by donations from a GoFundMe page. The group is hoping to raise at least a million dollars. Looking ahead to tomorrow when the Santa Fe City Council is taking up a long-running debate over renting out casitas in Santa Fe. The proposal allows property owners to rent out two units on a single-family residential lot without having to live on the property themselves. The hearing is at 7 p.m. Well, the Metro Threat Index for Wednesday actually moves up a bit for a couple different reasons. First of all, we've got a chance at a spot storm or two as a little more moisture creeps in. Warm temperatures are going to be a factor and, of course, that smoky haze. Students at the New Mexico School for the Deaf are helping teach service dogs signed cues. This is for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. The dogs are learning everything from the basics like sit, lie down, and up and even more advanced skills like getting them to flip a light switch. A new art project is aimed at making the city safer and brighter. The city is asking for artists to create art that incorporates light. They say from September to December, there will be designated sites where the artwork will be displayed. It can include stationary artwork like light sculptures or projections, also performance art. The senior games are wrapping up in a historic way. We're learning 14,000 athletes competed and more than 200 new records were set. That includes Julia Hurricane Hawkins, who set a new senior games record for the 50-meter dash in the women's 100-plus division.